So the first piece is entitled Sit With Me, a poem in my grandmother's voice by Viola Alo. When you die, you leave everything behind. You do not take a single thing with you. You do not take the shirt you are wearing. You do not take your socks and shoes. Do not take your head tie and earrings. You do not take the necklace your mother gave to you. You do not take the pots she got from her own mother. You do not take the dresses your father bought for you. You do not take the house, the house he built for you, just for you. You do not take the farm your parents watched over. My name is Steve Zeitlin. I'm the director of City Lore, which is a cultural center in Lower Manhattan. And one of the projects that we're totally proud of is this wild truck here called the Poem Mobile. And the Poem Mobile goes out to neighborhoods like this one, Bedford Stuyvesant, on uh, summer nights. Uh, and spring and fall nights and we project poems onto walls and buildings and we do it as the poets are reading, as the musicians are playing and we try to make the words be larger than life, floating above them as if they're five times as large as life and by doing that we try to, to elevate poetry and music and, uh, and, and to uh, bring it to where people really live. Soften death into poems and stories. The art of writing is just a way of wailing for the earth, carved up, sculpted by bodies. What we seek through our endless studies sits beyond death. But the path to it is sinking into a carved up earth paved with bodies. A sharp shovel of silence briefly remedies the ear deaf to the voices of the dead, linking it to slender petal tongues in a flower bed. A poem, a poem or a or story, story is, is an etching, etching of memories, dignity, dignity in the fragile, fragile face of, of loss, loss. <laughs> soothing the, the earth, earth carved up engraved with bodies we hum together beside a bed of flowers we came to this place this space to make sure that we brought poetry and art into each and every one of our homes see because we got to make sure that art survives and that poets are able to roam around the streets and share the words Namo, the power of the word, is up to me and you that it is heard. We can't let the art die. We must make sure art lives. Because we who believe in the freedom of the pen. Yes. Because we believe in the freedom and the power of the pen. We believe in the power of the pen. By any means necessary was not originated by Malcolm, by the supremacist who want all you gay, straight, yellow, brown, black, and blue <laughs> to not meet at the fire and spark a rise. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who